Xtool's CO2 laser, the P2, just got an upgrade. The company has listened to customers and taken their feedback seriously, and the result is the P2S. I have been testing and using this machine, and it has some pretty significant upgrades that I wanna share with you. So let's dive into this brand new machine. Hey there, I'm Sarah. You are watching Creative Ramblings, and we talk a lot about lasers on this channel. If you are a laser crafter or you're thinking about adding one to your project space, definitely consider subscribing. I'm sure there are videos here that will help you move forward in your creative journey. A CO2 laser is a really powerful laser that operates at high power, high speeds, but it's also really, really efficient. The P2 is a 55 watt laser, and it can cut through 18 millimeters of solid wood or 20 millimeters of acrylic. Because it is powerful and efficient, you can cut almost any non-metal material and you can engrave on just about anything. This makes a CO2 laser, specifically the P2, a great fit for customers who want to work with every material that's out there and those who specifically wanna work with acrylic. When you compare a CO2 laser to something like a diode, which is most home lasers out there, diodes don't do the best with acrylic. So if you're looking for the next step up, a CO2 laser is probably right for you. I owned the original P2. I have had it for about a year and it was a phenomenal machine. I liked it better than some of the other CO2 home desktop lasers that are out there, specifically the Glowforge Pro, because of all the different add-ons you can do with it. So you can put a riser on the P2, allowing you to make tumblers or tall items. You can put a honeycomb base in there and you can use an auto conveyor. So there's a lot of options with the P2 that you don't have with some other desktop CO2 machines. So if you would have asked me about a month ago what I thought of the P2, I would have told you it's the best machine out there for engraving and cutting acrylic and all kinds of other materials. Then I got the P2S and the best CO2 laser just got better. So let's talk about what stayed the same between these two machines. From the outside, the only difference between my P2 and this P2S is the color. My original one was in the pearl white, and this one is in a dark gray. The body, the weight, and the working area are all exactly the same from the original P2 to the P2S. The laser head stays the same. It's still a 55 watt CO2 laser. The functionality and everything having to do with the actual laser is the same as the original. Both machines have two built-in cameras. They are high-powered cameras, giving you really precise, detailed look at your material, which helps with placement of your designs. With this new version, you still have all those same add-on features. So the rotary, the riser, the conveyor, and anything else you can add on to the P2, you can do on this one. You're able to connect this to a computer, tablet, or phone that uses the XCS software. You can do that via a USB cord or Wi-Fi. So with most of those things being the same, the question is, what did they upgrade? So Xtool interviewed, talked to existing P2 customers and asked them what they wanted, what could make the P2 even better. I love that about this company. I love that they take the time to really understand the customer's needs and then build on that. So here's the upgrades. There is a new exhaust fan. The new fan is a dual booster fan, but it is still small and compact. So it doesn't add to the weight and it doesn't take up any more room in this machine, but it adds power. With this new machine, I am just venting it right out my window. On my old P2, I had an inline fan hooked up to help extract some of that smoke, especially when I was cutting wood and acrylic. When you are cutting materials at such a high power with a 55 watt laser, you're going to produce dust and smoke. And so this new dual fan is a really big deal. On my original P2, when I was filming videos, I would put my camera on top and try to get videos of cutting material. And there was always a lot of smoke. With my inline fan hooked up, I was able to get most of that out. I noticed right away on my first wood project with the P2S, 
no inline fan, it pulled that smoke right out. A couple other features I really like, there are two removable screens inside the laser bed that are just magnetic and they pull off and you can wipe them down. On the back, there is a little button on the exhaust fan. You push this and just pull the fan out. You can even take the whole fans out completely with a couple of screws. Then you can wipe everything down. Proper maintenance, care, and cleaning is really important for any laser that you own. So making this really easy just means that I'm going to clean my machine even more often and I'm going to have better performance for a longer time. The second upgrade is to the Air Assist. We now have a stronger pump in here for Air Assist. This coupled with the exhaust fan makes for really crisp, clean cuts on your material. Anytime you're using a laser, you should have air assist. Thankfully, it comes with most machines. It does come just built right in here. You will notice a difference if you cut a piece of wood with and without air assist. Without it, you're gonna notice a lot of char. With it, it's gonna be really clean and sharp. This is a piece of three millimeter basswood and I wanna show you some tests I ran. So these are an engraved test array and a cut test array on the P2. And then the same things performed on the P2S. And there are some differences here. Now, the disclaimer I want to share is that my P2 is about a year old. I do clean it and I do care for it, but it is a used laser. I am not a small business owner, so I don't have large production, but I do use it. So you do get some wear from your laser. But even with that being said, there is some noticeable differences here. And the biggest one is on the cut side. I attribute these differences to the fan and the air assist because that 55 watt laser head is exactly the same in both of these. So you'll notice here that it really only cut through on the bottom three. So this is, it's hard to see here, a power of 80, 90, and 100, and then we started a speed of 35, 45, 55. And if you look on the back, it almost cut through, but not quite. There is also a good amount of char and just scorching that you're seeing around the outsides of these almost cut pieces. Then we go to the P2S, and even the scoring is a little bit better here, but all of these are fully cut out, except for the um, power of 80, speed of 55 there, but all of these are cut out fully, and let's see if you can get here. There is no scorching, there is no char, and that is fully attributed to the fan and the air assist. The same on engraving, I think the engraving is much darker there is a little bit of, of char here this is kind of a, a high power and speed or high power and low speed but um even the engraving is just a little bit better on the p2s so i am really happy with those upgrades just changing that fan has made all the difference with cutting Another upgrade is to the optical path adjustment. You are now able to manually adjust the optical path in just a few minutes. There is also a new quick release feature on the lenses. So again, when you're cleaning your laser, being able to get those on and off quickly just makes it so much easier. There's also some neat uh, smart fill and batch processing options with the P2S. I use this feature on my F1 Ultra where I could put a bunch of little aluminum business cards in my machine, add one graphic in Xtool Creative Space, and then smart fill to all of the other tags and it'll engrave perfectly. There is a updated software that's coming out with the P2S. I have had the ability to test that out a little bit. And so a lot of the new features that come with the P2S are going to be with that new release of software. And I really like the layout of what they've done with it. It just continues to be more and more user friendly. So if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering if this laser is right for you. So let's first talk about those of you who already own the original P2. I have said earlier that I liked my P2. I thought it was a fantastic machine. There is nothing wrong with the laser head. There is nothing wrong with the machine at all. When you buy a CO2 laser from Xtool, if you clean and maintain it regularly, you're expected to get 6,000 to 8,000 working hours out of that machine. So if your P2 is operating properly, it is fairly new and you like it, there's no reason to upgrade right now. 
However, if you do choose to upgrade, Xtool is offering some programs. I do have that detail down in the description, and if and when that does change, I will update the description. If you have a CO2 laser or another type of laser and you are thinking about upgrading, maybe your laser is at the end of its life or you have a diode laser or a smaller type that uh, you have decided you wanna do different materials or bigger projects. The P2S is a top of the line CO2 laser with every bell and whistle you could want on a desktop home machine. So if you want something more powerful, if you wanna cut almost every non-metal material, if you wanna work with acrylics, and if you want something that has powerful air assist and a fan to make your projects turn out crisp and sharp, this is the right machine for you. A CO2 laser is an investment. So if you are ready to pull the trigger, if you think this is right for you, the current offers are all listed down below. This machine launched on September 18th, 2024, and there's a whole bunch of launch specials, but true to form, Xtool is always running some kind of great deals. So take a look at the description for the best pricing. I have made some really cool projects with my P2S and I will be diving into those projects in more videos coming up very soon. If you wanna get a notification when those go live, consider subscribing. And if you are a laser user, be sure to check out my playlist in the description. I'm sure I have a video that can be helpful to you. If you have any other questions on this machine, drop them in the comments. I would love to chat with you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.